So when we look at the, the drivers of the, the two major lumber price rallies that we've seen uh, over the last two years, there's really a different set of factors driving each. When we look at the, the price rally from 2020 into early 2021, uh, when the framing lumber composite price quadrupled uh, and hit between $1,500 and $1,600 per thousand board feet, uh, that was really a case of demand being disconnected from supply. Uh, we had phenomenal demand growth in the second half of 2020 and early 2021, driven by a do-it-yourselfer boom, uh, sort of fueled by stimulus money, uh, as well as people having more time and disposable income pivoting from the service side of the economy uh, and spending on their home in particular. Uh, also, new construction really took off uh, you know, pretty quickly after the outset of the pandemic. Uh, and then meanwhile, the supply side of the wood products market was really constrained. Uh, not only were mills curtailing aggressively early on in the pandemic for fear that the, the housing market was really going to see uh, you know, significant, a significant downturn, uh, which obviously turned out, you know, to be the opposite, uh, mills, even as they quickly realized that demand was picking up, uh, really struggled to ramp up production, having trouble getting sort of furloughed employees back on the job, facing sort of disruptions from COVID cases at their facilities. Uh, so all those really contribute to this huge disconnect between demand and supply. And we had a major drawdown in inventory at the wholesale and retail uh, portion of the supply chain. Uh, so that fed into the record volatility and record prices we saw in 2021. When we look at the, the rally into 2022, this was much more tied to transportation and logistics constraints rather than a disconnect between demand and supply. And really the outset of this price rally came about in mid-November 2021 when uh, Flooding uh, and landslides in British Columbia really disrupted transportation, critical transportation networks uh, uh, for that key supplying region for dimensional lumber and wood products more broadly. You add on uh, a record-breaking Omicron wave that we saw as well through the winter months. Uh, between that and sort of unfavorable weather conditions, that really uh, disrupted supply chains and, and transportation in a way that sent prices rallying again, already in the context, uh, with the context uh, being that uh, sort of the supply chain was already seeing sort of thin inventory and distribution. So really that kind of set off uh, the, the second rally in prices. And now we're seeing things correct on that front as transportation issues subside, the COVID wave is behind us. And of course, demand is also cooling.